गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स एगेन ए वेलकम टू माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स टू दिस ऑनलाइन क्लासेस एंड आई होप इट विल बी मोर हेल्पफुल टू यू एंड ऑल्सो यू आर एट होम राइट नाउ एंड यू विल एंजॉय द ऑनलाइन क्लासेस टूडे माई Uh, i have already sent uh, five questions five short questions some exam oriented questions you need to go through these questions if you have any doubt you can call me and the first question is what is mean by encoding in communication we know that communication is universal process it starts with her birth and it ends with her death it is an uninterrupted process in human life and here what is encoding means it is a process of converting data into a format required for a number of information the process of transferring the message through symbols or gestures is known as encoding it means when you send something to the receiver we are sending in a written format but when the sender sending the message to the receiver that written format into a symbol or when it change into the symbol format that is called encoding it should be clear both the sender and the receiver it is a process through which we change our we cannot change our thoughts we only change the medium means the written medium will be changed into a symbol medium this is called encoding then the next question is what is proximity proximity is the study of how human use space when we are communicating how close we stand to someone whether we touch them and how comfortable we feel are the part of study of proximity in this process proximity is also a form of communication but it is a communication it is a space related communication that means when you communicate something with others we use a particular space we use a particular office or we use a particular place so that is called so when we use a space to communicate our ideas with others that means a teacher can use a classroom a manager can use a office and a student can use his classroom these are the space of that particular person when they are communicating their thoughts they are use some physical space for their comfort the term was coined by the anthropologist edward hall hall was instructed in understanding how human use space in communicate communication so space plays an important role in communication process if for a manager if there is no office he may not feel comfortable to do his work to communicate his thoughts feelings ideas with other offices so that's why a manager needs a particular space for communication likewise a students also a student also use a particular classroom a particular study room for his comfort to learn better to get to learn better in his studies so space plays an important role in communication process and the next question is what is kinesis kinesis is a communication through body language or body movement such as gesture and facial expression that means when you say something to someone it is called only communication but when we say our thoughts or ideas through a particular gesture through a particular body movement that is called kinesis 
it is all about non verbal it is called a non verbal communication that means without opening our mouth we can share our thoughts without opening our mouth we can share thought means we can show something or by raising our hands by nodding our heads or by blinking our eyes we can share our thoughts with others and the sender that means the Mm, the sender should know about the hints should know about the physical moment what the sender is expressing to him or her so this is called kinesis so it is this kinesis plays important role in a communication process because where there is no because where there is no written mode kinesis plays an important role thank you students this is three questions please go through these three questions i have i have already told you elaborately if after that if you will get any kind of difficulties you can call me thank you